everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Liv and I am so excited about this video. This is a first impressions video and it's a first impression on a few things. So first, I've never used any Morphe products before today. And I have picked up the Morphe 39A palette. This is from their holiday collection this year. It is the Dare to Create palette. And I mean, just, I mean, I, I don't know that I can fit this in the frame. There, there we are. Look at this. It is stunning. I am so excited to play with this palette. It has some gorgeous shimmer shades. It also has these insane like giant crease shades, which is a great idea. I, I can't believe this isn't like a regular thing because you use crease shades every time you do your eyeshadow. So you're gonna go through crease shades faster than regular eyeshadow. And now I have all the crease shades I could ever want. So first impressions on this palette here, and I mean first impressions on Morphe eyeshadow really, and also first impressions on Morphe brushes. I picked up the Eye Credible set, which I was slightly disappointed to realize does not have the like regular numbered Morphe brushes. Like you know when YouTubers do their makeup and they're like, I'm using a Morphe 85-7 or whatever. Yeah, 85-7, that's, <laughs> that's a number. Um, these don't have numbers, they just say Morphe. They came in a 12 piece set, but I'm cheap and I wanted a deal, so I got a ton of different brushes from them. They feel like great quality, but I have not touched them yet. So I will be using those on my eyes today and I will let you know what I think of the brushes as we go. If they turn out to be good, this Eye Credible set is a great deal. I think it was like $26 for 12 brushes, and you can do anything with these, assuming they work, so I will keep you posted. Um, I'm going to just play around with the shadows. I'm not sure exactly what kind of look we're gonna end up with today, which is why I just have on foundation. I don't know how much fallout I'm gonna be dealing with, so I held off on concealer. I think I'm gonna use some of these big crease shades for bronzer, and then I don't know, you know, what color blush or highlight I'm gonna need. I'll figure all that out once we get to the eyes. Before we do that, I just wanna do a couple swatches for you guys because I can't use every color in here as much as I would like to, and they're just, they're so pretty. I swatched a couple of these last night when I opened this. I, I couldn't wait. So let's just take a look at a couple of these. I wanna make sure to show you guys the transition shades just because there are so many of them, and it was a huge selling point, I mean, at least for me. So I'm gonna go ahead and pick up the lightest shade here, Bare. Let's grab a darker one, this is Evolve. I'm gonna go ahead and pick up this matte green shade, Fickle. It looks a little streaky on the hand, but that's because I was pulling weird. I don't think it's the shadow, and mattes can swatch weird anyway. Let's do one more matte before we do the shimmers, because that's what I absolutely want to see. I'm going to grab this matte burgundy shade in Passion. Ooh, big fan of these so far. I mean, they're, they're so pigmented. Let's go ahead and move on to the shimmers. I'm so excited. One sec, let me just clean this off. Wow, those are hard to take off. Like they really wanna stay on the hand, which I guess is promising for when they go on my face. So let's go in. I'm gonna swatch four of these shimmers because I'm sorry, they're too gorgeous. First, I'm gonna pick up Snatched, which is the color that has been calling to me since I first saw this palette. Look at that. That is stunning. And it's like barely metallic. Oh, I'm using that today. It, it's too pretty. Let's go ahead. Actually, I'm gonna grab Spark. It's like a really pretty copper. That is insane. Oh my God, I am so excited. Okay, two more. I could do this all day. Let's do one of these gorgeous blues. I'm gonna grab Color. Seems like they kind of phoned in on that name, huh? That, that is something. All right, one more. What should we do? I'm gonna pick up So Glam, which is a greeny gold. I don't think I've seen anything quite like this and I, I love it already. It's gorgeous. They're, they're all absolutely incredible. Oh my God, I cannot wait to put these on my face. All right, I'm gonna prime my eyes, zoom you in, and we can get started. Uh, before we get started, this palette is way too big for me to pick it up and show you every time I pick up a new shade, but I will let you know the name of the shade I'm using so that you can follow along in the palette. To set down my concealer, I am going to pick up this big fluffy brush from that Eye Credible set and pick up the shade Bare, which is that lightest transition shade. Ooh, ooh, there's so much pigment. All right, I'm gonna tap off my brush there. 
This is a little bit dark to set down the entire eyelid, but just gonna roll with it. All right, and I'm gonna stick with some of the warmer colors today because I just have to use this shade Snatched. It is so beautiful, but we'll get to it. First, I'm gonna pick up one of these many crease shades and start deepening the crease. I'm gonna grab Define Me, which is a nice warm tone crease shade. Oh, this brush is like a weird angle that I didn't realize. Ooh, this is very, very pigmented. But it's blending out really nicely. So far I'm a fan of this brush too. It's really nice and feathery. It's depositing the pigment well, like there's not a lot of clumps when I touch it to my eye, which makes blending even easier because there's less to blend, so. Big fan, all right. Let's move on to a deeper transition shade. I'm going to grab a slightly smaller crease brush and pick up the shade Evolve, which I swatched earlier. Ooh, oh that's brown. And I'm focusing this on the outer corner as well as into the crease. I almost grabbed this as a bronzer and now I know this would be a little bit dark as a bronzer on me, so. I'm glad I did this. And honestly, I'm not seeing a lot of fallout. I have been tapping off my brush to make sure there's not a lot of excess, but I don't see a ton under the eyes right now, which is nice. Okay, now that we're nice and transitioned, let's get into some color. Okay, so I know I'm going in with this insane, vibrant red peach. I don't even know what this color is, snatched. So since I've got a lot of brows, I want to deepen it up, bring a little bit of red into it. So I'm going to pick up the shade Forever, which is a really nice deep purple on this small flat brush here. And I'm just going to focus this on the outer corner. Ooh, that's so pretty. It looks like wine. I feel like I'm not even doing any work. The shadows are just like blending. Oh, no wonder everyone uses Morphe. I'm gonna have to buy more now. And I'm gonna pick up the eyeshadow, the brush I was just using to blend out the edges here. And that's really pretty, but it's very dark. So just to get a little bit more purple, I'm gonna pick up this same brush that I was just using for the shade Forever and pick up Passion, which is right next to it and is a little bit more burgundy. There we go. And same deal, I'm gonna pick up the blending brush again and just blend out the edges. But seriously, this is, this is like no work. Okay, it's time. It's time for Snatch. I'm so excited. So normally I would use my finger to apply a shadow like this, but since we're testing these Morphe brushes, there's a big flat brush that looks like it was made for this job. So I'm gonna give it a try. If I don't like it, I'll switch it up and move to the finger, but let's just see. So I'm going in to this shade. Mm, it doesn't really pick up really bright on the brush. So I have a feeling this is gonna be a finger one, but let's see. Yeah, no, that's always the answer. So bright. I love this. All right, it's gonna blend out the edges of that. All right, so this eyeshadow is red. <laughs> I don't know what I was expecting, but I wasn't expecting it to be this bright. I have a feeling this is gonna stain my eyelids because it has stained my hands, but who cares? It's so pretty. Just gonna keep blending it out a little bit here. This is a little redder than I had planned. I'm not mad about it, but it's a little bit more red than I had planned. So I'm gonna tone it down a little bit by layering over that copper shade that I swatched. It is called Spark and it is gorgeous. And it's one of the metallics, so I'm just gonna use my finger because that's the way to go here. Ooh, yeah, I like that. And one more time, I'm gonna blend. And I wanna pick up that red, that dark red shade in Passion and just deepen up the outer corner again. Sometimes that can get a little lost in all the blending. I'm loving these brushes. 
Uh, they're great. I have basically nothing else to say about them. I would say this eye credible set so far is a win for me. All right, so we're not quite done yet, but this look is pretty dramatic, so I don't think that it needs eyeliner. Uh, I am gonna do mascara and pop on the rest of my face really quickly. I'll show you guys how some of these transition shades work as bronzer, and then I'll be back to finish up the eyes. All right, let's try this bronzer. I'm gonna pick up the shades Transitional and Sculpt. It's two of those big transition shades. Just gonna mix them together here. This is a Sephora powder brush, but it's pretty narrow, so I like to use this for bronzer. Oh, so pigmented. Oh God, what have we done? Okay, let's stay calm. <laughs> this, may be, this may have been a mistake. Oh no, hang on. Okay, I don't hate it. Just a little weird toned, right? Like it's kind of yellowy. I mean, it goes on great. Oh God, hang on, that's too much. Let's warm this up. I'm gonna grab Canvas and Sunder, two of the warmer shades from the other side of the palette. That is a lot of product, but better. Oh my god, I'm so bronzed right now. Well, as you can imagine, we're just gonna bronze the whole face because otherwise, things are gonna get awkward. It's gonna get all up in the forehead. <sighs> well, that's why it's the first impression. You never know how it's gonna go. I could see myself doing this for bronzer again, just Starting with these two shades over here, which I actually really like. I just I just picked the wrong ones. Well, we're bronze. I'm gonna clean this up a little bit, finish up the face, and I'll be back. So I just started doing my lower lash line without the camera on, which is great. As you can tell, I'm really getting the hang of this YouTube thing. Luckily, this is super quick. I just took a small smudgy shadow brush, picked up those shades Passion and Forever that I was using on the outer corner and ran that under the lower lash line. Then I picked up the tiniest bit of Snatched, which is that amazing bright red, and this teeny tiny little pointed brush, and just brought a little bit of that into the corners here on the inside, just to kind of mirror what we've got going on on the top, on the bottom. I also just took a black eyeliner pencil and ran it on the waterline on the bottom lash line. The last thing I'm gonna do is a little bit crazy. This is a very warm look, obviously, but I wanna just pop a bright, cool tone shade on the inner corners because I think it'll be fun, and it might look crazy, but you know what? I'm not going anywhere, so let's just take a look. I'm picking up this flat liner brush and the brightest color in the palette, which is called Taylor, and it is like an icy blue. All right guys, that completes this video. Honestly, I have nothing bad to say about this palette. It's gorgeous, there's so many incredible colors. The metallics are just amazing and I cannot wait to keep playing with this. The only thing I would say is if you are fair skinned, you might not wanna use those transition shades as bronzer. It doesn't seem like it's picking up on the camera, but like, trust me, I am over bronzed right now. Uh, that being said, you can probably still do it and just use a much lighter hand than I did. But as far as the eyeshadows go, just absolutely awesome. For the brushes as well, I didn't use every one of these Eye Credible brushes, but came pretty close, and I'm very impressed with them. I've never used Morphe brushes before. I see what everyone's talking about. They're really, really nice. So I would say if you're looking to get into makeup and you don't have a lot of eye brushes, go ahead and pick up this Eye Credible set. It's pretty affordable, and you will get plenty of brushes. So definitely a big fan. Happy to have those in my collection as well. It's the holiday season, and I'm really excited to have some holiday looks coming up for you guys, probably some using this 39A palette because I am absolutely obsessed. If there's specific colors you guys want me to play around with, let me know in the comments and I will do my best to make that happen. You can follow me on Instagram at livegraceface, same as here on YouTube. And of course here on YouTube, if you do like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you wanna see more. I hope you guys are having an awesome week and I will see you soon. Bye.